So my sense will delta a little bit better. And so I'm running guard five. Uh, free element ammo up, artillery, resentment, constitution, mushroom mancer, offensive guard, health boost, speed eating, guard up, and not elemental boost, which actually I don't need the non elemental boost because I just unlocked the element. But I'm gonna let while I do this, uh, I'm going to let Chris talk about what he's wearing. So right now, I am wearing the entire Bumber Beta set. Currently running with the uh, Gems that allow me to give Crit High 7, Handicraft 4, Mushroom Romance at 3, Health Boost 2, Resentment 2, and I'm just trying to slot in some other gems, but right now I've only got Crit Boost 1, and we have Exploit 1. Stamina Thief is in there because this weapon does actually allow you to map monsters out, because they're clubs. <laughs> this should be interesting. Agitated, just a little side thingy from a level 4 gem, Divine Blessing, which comes from my level 4 gem with a tenderizer. The defensive guard is just in there, a little bit of things that I don't really want, but they're just like in there because extra abilities, extra abilities on the gems, which is fine, that just comes with it. Right now I'm trying to select in an elementless gem. Not sure where to put it. I might just stick it over that, to be honest, over my challenge of vitality. I'm not gonna get less health, but yeah. Well, I got I a nice mind. decoration for the uh, free element ammo up. So it's got free element ammo up, and then it's a guard decoration at the same time. Nice. Yeah, rather convenient. Uh, the reason that I'm running the gun lance is because I just wanted to optimize kind of the guard abilities for offensive guard. Um, and I like the gun lance out of all the weapons. Uh, the long sword's decent. Um, biggest issue with most of the weapons is they don't hit white sharpness. Dual blades don't have that issue, so the dual blades are savage. Because they're elementless and white sharpness is baller on elementless weapons. So, but the reason I unlocked the ice is because it actually does carry quite a bit of ice damage at 510 for the gun lance. I think it does for the dual blades as well, it actually carry quite a bit of ice. The only, difference, the only issue is, is like taking the time out to unlock that ice is kind of hard. Yeah, it's got 360, it's not too bad. Ooh, if we're hunting tempered, I might get hit hard here. <laughs> 681 defense. No, we're hunting normal shark. So. And I mean, at least it's not a tempered guided lance. Not in Vale. Ooh. Might have to bring some Nullberries on this one. Yep. So one of the biggest things to watch out for for Tempered Bombero, and we were going to ask Mitch this, and like I said, if there is a questionnaire that starts, because I got a hold of Mitch before we came to do this. Um, and the reason that we're hunting in the Rotten Vale is actually because it applies a fluvium blight, which is really important to be aware of. Because, let's be honest, nobody wants that. And it's a pain. And I actually don't even have no berries anymore. I used all of them hunting Valhazak. It's just slightly depressing, but it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Get that gardening done, boy! <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah. Get that one. It's got, I, I'm growing them in the garden. Um, and then the next video that we do is going to be the uh, Tick Rex set that I built. The two of them. The friendship one and then the non friendship one. <laughs> so the there's a brute one that, that we built and then there's a normal one that we built. And the brute one is savage and so is the other one. But one's more like 
group in DPS, and the other one's more like just DPS and like item abuse for yourself. So stay tuned for those. Um, the most wall oh, is getting ready. The three star points that are important to be aware of for Bombero are its head for every weapon and I believe it's three star dragon if I remember right. Three star dragon, three star blast, and three star stun. So actually knocking this thing out it's not that hard. And its head is actually the only part that is three star to everything. It is two star on whew, the legs and one star to everything but blunt damage on the horns, which is interesting. I think the other thing that I really like about the Hombre weapons is it's not hard to, uh, they have the rarity tens and they have the mod upgrades so they can really be customized to your liking. So, and I don't know about the full blades, but I know the gun lance comes with the defense upgrade, which is pretty nice. Dual blades do too, I believe. I will double check that. I will confirm it as soon as I upload it. <laughs> <laughs> For the mod. I'm not talking about the actual weapon, I'm talking about the mod. Uh, you can. You can mod them for uh, defense if you wish to. Oh, nice. On the ornaments and the stuff. Long sword. Yeah, it's because they're under the bone tree, so you are allowed to on the dual blades. That's messed up. You can't do that on the bone long swords. What the fuck? Most weapons on the bone tree you can. I don't know why long swords allow me to do defense. <clears throat> Supposedly. Upgrades. Uh, I take that back. No, this weapon oh, doesn't wow, this is... the automatic defense that comes on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very Me up there, I'm going to actually have one of those hard atmosphere. Oh, we got Savage Joe. <laughs> yeah, they actually Savage yeah. Joe was down here. It's also a knockout right there, from the looks of things. It was. <laughs> I don't know if it was me or <laughs> I you. Even put on impact. I haven't even put on the impact. I haven't even put on the The gun lance actually knocks it pretty well, too. I actually really like the gun lance. Look at this. I should have bought some mushrooms, shouldn't I? Because I've got mushroom months of three. I'm an idiot. Uh, damn. You're actually right. I forgot. That's a thing. <laughs> we both forgot. We're Uh, 
Straße. Salad. Softening on the base. Ooh, he's running. I enjoy Bomber. He's actually really not that hard of a fight. But, um, I think the biggest thing that catches me off guard is when he does his tail swing. Yeah, it catches me off guard so much at this. Overall, I actually enjoy Bomber's set for an early game set. Pretty good sports set. Uh, There's a knockout knock. from the last hit, ladies. And there's the paralysis from the Gacho Arthas. God. He's getting bullied! <laughs> Poison, stunned, paralyzed, stunned. Knocked down again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. Oh god, and now Devil Jim. No, you are not wanted. Oh, I'm no poisoned now. Is that the same size or bigger than the double jump? They're about the same size. That's actually kind of shocking and scary at the same time. One slap, two oh, it's slap. Um, I think I've been limping after what I just went through. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. After this, we'll actually be hunting a tempered one. Um, mostly because the tempered one will live a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> and we kind of want to showcase some of its movesets, not just us beating the living fuck out of it. <laughs> uh... But this is pretty much the sets. Um, the sets are really decent. The armor actually is phenomenal. And so are all the weapons, truthfully. Like, I'm kinda sad that their um, rarity, the rarity that they are, but. I actually really like this worm spire stick. This was the first gun that I've used in the expansion, so. I love it when monsters are on slopes when using dual blades. So much damage. You probably knock really easily with those too. Uh, we've already knocked it down with stun twice now. No idea if it was me or you, but we will find out at the end probably. Hmm. Fire! Go! No! <laughs> Why? This is power. Devil Joe did not like me doing Oh god, I might die. Ah! There we go. Saved my You're life. You're good. You're good. Devil Joe is gonna kill me! I left on one health! <laughs> This is not your food. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Alright, so the biggest difference between this and the Guided Lands version is probably the, actually the fact that the Guided Lands deals a lot more damage. Um, I was thinking Bombero was like an early game monster at the start because it's got rarity and high equipment. It's actually a much later game monster in terms of difficulty, especially on this weapon. And you could really expand on this set by swapping out some parts, but... Like, Chris definitely has no need for offensive guard with dual blades. 
<laughs> so yeah, that's why I went for the die too. Yeah, and you could definitely swap that out and swap it in for something else. Some nice items actually. Got a gem from that. Very nice. Oh wow, that was a silver crown. No wonder that was so big. No wonder that was over there being like, Devil Joe, you're mine. <laughs> you're not big enough to screw with me. Yeah, uh, I knocked him out twice, guys. <laughs> Stunned. Uh, right busy bro times, too. Keep in mind that I didn't actually, actually I knocked him out. Before I even put the impact mantle on, so that thing has some crazy. He is crazy three star stun to damage. stun. So. <clears throat> true. So very true. You um, might, you ever want to make that thing easy mode? There you go. <laughs> Lock it out with those. Here we go. I actually do have a. Uh... A nice tempered one we can beat the crap out of real quick for video. The biggest difference with the tempered is just that it, it when it rolls the or when it rolls trees and things, it can roll two in a row. I think the tree roll is actually a lot harder to deal with, so don't fight this thing in the ancient forest. Or the snow, which is where you fight it. Um, but you end up fighting it a lot. It's really a rare spawn in the Guided Lands, which sucks, because I actually have come to really enjoy this hunt. It's actually one of the first speedruns I did. I didn't ever post it, but I ended up getting underneath, like, I think sub 5 on the Tempered one. So, but yeah, I, also I don't, wasn't I can't using remember what machines do what. You don't know what mushrooms do, what, boy? I cannot. <laughs> what are you trying to remember? It's been ages since I've used mushroom mantis. I can't remember which mushrooms do what. Oh, I actually practiced with it a little bit. So, blue mushrooms heal. Um, the nitro shrooms count as. So I'll actually use this this time. Uh, God, what are those called? Um. Those count as like taking a mite seed. Oh, uh, yeah. The parish room, it pretty much is a color match system, like always. Parish room is for defense. Um, some of them do things like. I don't remember, I don't know what Devil's Blight, the level 3 does, but level 2, I know, gives you uh, defense and attack. Level 1 gives you blue uh, health and speed recovery. Uh, it functions as the Asteria Jerky. Oh, very nice, very nice. So I assume the other ones are going to function as your other items. So. Because there's Devil, Blight, Excite, Shroom, and then. Magnoras. So, reading this, I'm assuming the Magdragora functions a lot like a Max or a, Yeah, it functions more like a Max Potion, judging by the coloration in the description saying that that's what it's used for. Excite Shrooms are out. required to make Farcasters. And Devil Blight's obviously here for barrel bombs, so I don't know what the fuck those do. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess it's as good as mine on that one. I'll Good actually luck. show off the Mushroom Mancer perks. I mean, I don't really need to, because obviously it's Mushroom Mancer. Most of you guys who are playing and watching this probably know what those do. I'm sad it doesn't allow you to do take like the Chili Shrooms and stuff. You 
since they're adding Rajong, they'll have the skeleton for it. Sad part is it's probably not going to appear as large as they did in like the old games. Alright, we'll roll through, demonstrate all of these. So there is the Perishroom, Defense, Nitroshroom, Offense, Toadstool. Okay, yeah, Toadstool is in this area, Turkey, then. So if you guys aren't using the Gun Lance, you end up going with a Sword and Shield, which this set would be really good for as well. I would definitely, if you go Sword and Shield with the build that I'm running, especially, instead of doing the free element ammo up, do friendship. For sure, do friendship. In case he goes down to the uh, thing. He actually starts out down there too. Yeah, yeah when I fought mine around here, he'd actually be running around in circles upon your guns route. But when I fought it the second time, kind of difficult. And then all. No, then, you oh. bastard, you turned! <laughs> I don't even know what that's gonna run into because it definitely wasn't a wall. That works too though. Okay, I'm him. Yeah. 
God, I hate those birds. Well, literally, if those things start flying around poor Bambro, he just stands there screaming at them. <laughs> 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 Did that the first time I fought in town, but he just stood there screaming and screaming. Just stuck on Rocksteady in the end, just start hitting his feet. Hey. Cause he keeps shooting rocks at me! Why are you behind me? <laughs> Why? Oh gosh. I got back when you shot more at me. Meaning <laughs> <laughs> you can have some apparently. <laughs> I did work Mushroom Mancer into the support set though that I built for the, um, what's it called? The Sword and Shield build that I showed, that I was going to make. Oh yeah. For full support. Most of it's DPS support, like, cause with all the speed, with the speed eating too, there's really no need for, like, Three monsters. No, this is gonna get fun. <laughs> ah, Bambers running around. Bambers. Yeah. It was like he's being bullied. Any yeah, wonder that gets bullied. <laughs> hmm. Such a passive monster, though this one. You don't attack him, he won't attack you. Oh, no, 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 no,
I was actually trying to weaken his face then. <laughs> Blade one weakness when you do demon mode. They come out of it. Just to get rid of fire blood. Oh, I just barely missed it. So, uh, you can hit it. Look it away. With Chris. Riding on your back. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. <laughs> Check out our other ones, oh. and we will be doing uh, what's the third monster? I can't remember. I think it's actually it's Toby Viper Kadachi is what it is. That'll be interesting to build a set for that. I already looked at his armor. His armor is like good to pair with other armors, <laughs> just not by itself. So we'll be back next week, and hopefully Mitch will actually be here to answer questions, because, yeah, that's something Mitch needs to do. All right. I'm um, your boy Gray. This is Chris. And we're out.